Hi, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today we will start from account transaction reports. Uh, go to accounts, report, uh, account listing. From here, uh, you can generate a GL account report. You can select categories. You can select uh, sales, cost of sales, expense accounts, and uh, balance sheet accounts. And uh, you can select active, inactive accounts. And uh, from reporting period, you can select this year, last year, or life to date uh, date range. And uh, you can view the report. From this report, you can view GL account name, category, uh, whether it's active or inactive account, description, and balance uh, for this period. Okay, next uh, we will move to account transaction report. From this report, you can generate GL account transaction uh, for a particular period. You can select GL accounts. And you can select categories, uh, sales, cost of sales, uh, expenses, assets, liabilities. And uh, from here, uh, transaction type, you can select uh, that GL account transaction type, account payment receipts and uh, adjustments, those things, uh, those transaction types you can select. And if you are using analysis code, you can filter by analysis code. And also uh, you can sort this report from account or financial category. And uh, you can include active, inactive, or both GL accounts. Now, uh, from here, you can view uh, for this period uh, account transactions. Uh, you can view that account name opening balance, uh, transactions, closing balance, and movement for the period. Now, uh, uh, when you are doing uh, audits, uh, your auditors will uh, request this uh, transaction reports, GL account transaction report. Uh, then uh, you can generate those report from uh, accounts report, go to accounts, reports, account transactions, uh, you can generate uh, for a particular period and you can select uh, account, GL accounts, and you can select category and you can generate the report. If you are uh, sort by financial category, then this report will display sales after that cost of sales like that, uh, it will sort by financial category order. Right, uh, now you can generate that uh, accounts report. You can generate account listing and uh, account transaction reports.
Okay, uh, you can generate account transaction reports from this uh, account transaction reports. And uh, in addition to this, this uh, if you are maintaining jobs or projects in the system, you can filter by that project or job. You can view uh, that particular project or job uh, transaction, the uh, sales, cost of sales, then expenses, inventory, trade receivable, trade payables, uh, relevant to that project. Okay, now uh, we have completed accounts module. Uh, I'll quickly go through this account module. Uh, you can create or you can you can create GL accounts from this account module. Go to accounts, add an account. You can enter account name and you can select account category. You can select sales, uh, expenses, assets, liabilities. And uh, if tax rate available for this account, you can select default tax rate. And uh, if you want to attach any documents for this one, you can add attachment or notes and uh, you can save this GL account and also you can create item accounts you can create item accounts for sales cost of sales inventory and inventory adjustments and you can do account report uh, reporting groups you can add groups by uh, selecting GL account and uh, you can group uh, to sub grouping also Then uh, you can adjust opening balances and you can generate account transaction reports. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, you can ask. Okay, next uh, we will move to accountants area module. Uh, from here we can add a note to our other users. You can enter type and uh, due date subject and uh, you can send a note from the system. Uh, then next one, uh, process journal entries. Uh, you can enter journal entries from accountants area. Go to accountants area, process journal entries. And uh, from here, you can enter journal entry. First, uh, you need to select the date, journal entry date. And uh, from effect, uh, you can select uh, debit or credit and you can select the GL account. 
now uh, if you select debit in effect uh, this account this account account will debit and if you select credit uh, this account will credit okay then uh, you can enter reference for the journal entry and uh, if you have a description for an example uh, uh, water bill for this month uh, if you are entering journal entry for water bill you can enter that description and uh, if tax available for this journal entry you can select tax type and uh, if tax not available you can select uh, zero rate or no tax after that uh, you can enter the amount and uh, inclusive amount will display and uh, this credit account for this account this journal entry you can select from by affecting account okay now uh, if you are processing this uh, journal entry debit administration expenses credit advertising okay and uh, if you have analysis code you can select from uh, this analysis code and uh, you can customize this grid if you want to include the uh, analysis code you can add from here you can tick that analysis code and then uh, those analysis code will display to the grid okay now you have entered that uh, journal entry and uh, you can save this journal entry uh, when you are discussing this journal entry uh, there are uh, two important things now uh, for an example uh, if you are entering if you uh, assume you are the finance manager and you have assistant that assistant will uh, enter these journal entries and uh, that assistant will save the journal entries. Now, uh, journal entries enter and save, it will not uh, pass to that uh, relevant journal, uh, GL account. Uh, if you want to pass, uh, you need to click this uh, mark selected as reviewed or all, uh, mark all as reviewed. Okay, you need to review those transactions. Now, system has a feature. Uh, if you have, if you have an assistant, uh, that assistant can enter, and after that, you can check the journal entries and uh, you can process or you can review the journal entries. After reviewing only, uh, those GL uh, journal entries will pass to relevant uh, GL accounts. Okay. Now there are two steps. Uh, first one. Uh, one can enter transaction and after that a uh, higher level uh, user can check can review those transaction after that only uh, it will go to the relevant gl accounts or uh, at once uh, if you are the only person in that accounts department uh, you can enter transactions and uh, you can review the that journal entries okay uh, there are two steps uh, first one uh one user can enter and next user can check and review or after you enter uh, directly you can review the transaction okay then uh, you can uh, by clicking this uh, plus mark you can add lines to this grid and you can enter journal entries and also uh, system has the facility to import journal entries from here you can download example
you can copy paste your journal entries to this uh, CSV file and you can import to the system. Okay, uh, you can enter the date, then you can select the effect, debit or credit. You can select GL account, uh, enter reference, description, and if tax type available for this transaction, you can select the tax type, and uh, you can enter the amount. Uh, system will feel that uh, inclusive amount, and uh, from here, you can select that uh, by affecting account. This is the credit entry for this journal entry. Okay. After that, you can save or uh, you can review the transaction. If you save, uh, the transaction will not process for that GL accounts. If you reviewed, uh, those transactions will process to relevant GL accounts. Okay, now uh, if you reviewed that transaction, uh, it will move to this reviewed journal entries. You can uh, select date range and uh, you can view that transactions. Okay, now you can view this, uh, now entered uh, transaction for that uh, electricity income that trans journal entry you can view from reviewed journals. Okay, now uh, you can enter few journal entries and uh, you can save and you can review those journal entries and you can check from uh, reviewed journals.
Okay, uh, after you enter journal entries, you can pre uh, print that journal entries. By clicking uh, print preview button, you can print your journal entries. Okay, and also you can export to PDF or uh, Excel file this journal entry. Then uh, we will move to recurring journal entries. From recurring journal entries, uh, you can schedule your journal entries. Then uh, in that set date, system will process that journal entry. Okay, uh, go to accountants area, recurring journal entries. You can enter template name. You can enter that transaction. enter amount and uh, from here you can select that affecting account after that uh, go to schedule pick that schedule tab from here you can set the timing for that journal entry now, if you want to process monthly, you can select monthly and also you can select daily, weekly, monthly or yearly. And uh, after you select monthly, you can view this day and uh, you can select month. Okay. And uh, there are two options, day or From here, you can set. Now, for an example, if you want to process, uh, if you want to set this general entry process on last date of this month, uh, you can select the uh, second option there. And from here, you can select last. And uh, from this date, uh, you can select day. And uh, for of every one month, then uh, every month, this general entry will process. Okay. And uh, if you want to add end date, you can select end date. And if you uh, if you want to add number of occurrences, now for an example, uh, if you are scheduling your lease journal entries, then uh, for a lease there may be some uh, number of occurrences. Now for an example, uh, if you are buying vehicle uh, from uh, and you are leasing for five years, you can enter. Uh, 60 for these occurrences 12 into 5 years 60 and uh, after 60 occurrences uh, this uh, journal entry uh, for next uh, 60 occurrences uh, this journal entry will process okay and uh, if you want to continue any journal entry you can select no end date then uh, that journal entry will continue forever okay there are three options for recurrence range, no end date, end after number of occurrences, and end by date. Then uh, after that, uh, you can view this, uh, after template name, there are two options, mark as reviewed and active. Now, uh, when you are discussing that journal entries, we discuss that uh, reviewed. Now, uh, if you want to review this automatically, this uh, journal entry, you can tick this option. And if you are not ticking this option, system uh, will create that recurring journal entry as a draft. Then uh, till you process that transaction or till you review that transaction, it will uh, save as a draft uh, journal entry. 
okay if you tick this uh, system will automatically review this transaction and if you tick in tick this uh, active button active tick uh, this journal this recurring journal entry uh, will keep as active entry Right, uh, now you can enter a uh, recurring journal entry. First go to accountants area and select journal entries. Uh, enter template name for that journal entry. Under transaction tab, you can enter that journal entry. And uh, from schedule tab, you can set that timing. You can set recurrence and timing and recurrence range. After enter these details, you can save this uh, journal entry. Okay, now you can enter a few recurring journal entries.
okay uh, next uh, we will move to accountants area reports uh, first uh, management reports and uh, from this management report you can generate uh, profit and loss report from uh, profit and loss report you can generate report for particular period you can select date range monthly quarterly yearly uh, custom dates and all then uh, if you want uh, you can select or you can filter by your analysis code and uh, you can view the report Now, uh, from here, you can view that uh, profit and loss report for this period. You can view sales, cost of sales, other income, expenses, and uh, you can view the net profit. Okay. Then uh, I'll add a few more options. Now, uh, if you have entered budget for this uh, system, you can view budget and budget variance okay if you want to add budgets uh, to the system you can you go to company budgets and you can add a budget now if you already add that budget to your system you can generate actual amount budget amount and budget variance Okay, now uh, from the, this report, you can view uh, actual, peri actual period amounts, budget and budget variance. If you have given any budget, uh, you can select budget from here. You can view actual budget and variance. Next, uh, now uh, from here you can select date range uh, monthly, quarterly, yearly, and uh, if you are select yearly from here from group by you can select month or quarter. Now uh, we will generate this report. Now uh, you have selected a range for one year this year and uh, you have grouped by uh, quarterly. Then you can view quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four and total. And also you can group by monthly. And uh, from here, you can view month-wise trans uh, values. Okay. And also, if you select quarterly from here, from date range, you can select quarterly. And group by, you can select month. Then a uh, particular quarter, months will display in the PNL report. Okay, now you can view January, February, March, and total. Then, 
if you want now uh, these reports you can you cannot view that uh, decimal places if you want to add decimal places you can add decimal places by ticking decimal places value okay now you can view decimal places And uh, if you want to compare with previous year and current year period, you can tick this la compare with last year. Tick, then uh, you can view last year this uh, quarter and this year this quarter. You can compare the uh, values. And uh, if you said tick on last year, you cannot uh, tick both actually uh, last year and budget. Uh, you can select either last year or budget. Okay. And uh, if you want now, for an example, if you have um, departments or projects or you have activated uh, analysis code, you can generate the report uh, analysis code wise also. From here, from group by, you can select analysis code and you can select that analysis code type. For an example, now uh, if you want to view department wise, You can view uh, department wise profit and loss report now here you can view department and if you are not allocating to a particular department that values will go to uncategorized column and if you are allocated uh, your transaction to a particular department it will show under that department and from here you can view uncategorized column and departments and total Okay, and uh, if you want to view only particular project or particular analysis code, uh, you can select uh, from here, from filter by, you can select that analysis code and uh, you can generate the report. Then uh, system will display only for that department only. Okay, uh, if, you, if you are maintaining projects, uh, and you want to generate project wise profitability report you can use this uh, analysis code and you can generate uh, project price profit and loss report okay like that uh, you can changing these filters uh, you can generate different types uh, reports first uh, you can select different date range and you can filter by analysis code wise. You can group by uh, month, quarter, or yearly, and uh, you can group by analysis code. You can compare report uh, with previous year. And uh, if you want, you can view budget, actual budget and variance. And if you want to add decimal places, you can add decimal places. Okay, and this report also you can export to PDF, Excel, or you can print or email. Okay, and uh, one more thing now. Uh,
we have created uh, reporting groups. You can remember last session we have completed these uh, reporting groups. Now there's another option, uh, reporting group detail. Now, uh, if you tick on this option, system will display that uh, reporting groups. Now here uh, we have grouped administration expenses, uh, electricity, telephone, traveling wages and uh, finance expenses, bank charges, forex, uh, gain and losses. Like that we have grouped uh, our reports okay now uh, if you take this option reporting group detail system will display that each GL account wise uh, total and if you untick this option Now here, finance expenses, only one account. If you take this option, you can view uh, with that report groups. Okay, uh, sub GL account wise uh, amounts also you can be. Okay, uh, like that. Uh, when you are generating a profit and loss report, you can uh, change according to your requirement. Uh, you can change the date range. Uh, you can filter by analysis code wise, you can group by month or analysis code wise, and uh, you can add budget, budget variance last year, and you can compare with last year and budget, and you can display budget variance. And uh, from report grouping, uh, you can view detailed report or uh, summary report. Okay, now uh, you can generate uh, profit and loss report with uh, different filters.
Okay, uh, you can generate the uh, flow and loss report uh, by giving different uh, filters and uh, different dates, and uh, you can generate the report. Next, uh, we will move to uh, balance sheet. Go to accountants, accountants area, reports, management reports, balance sheet. Okay, uh, you can enter as a date and you can generate the report by clicking view report. Uh, you can view assets, uh, non current assets, uh, current assets, and you can view total assets. And after that, you can view equity and liabilities, owner's equity, non current liabilities and current liabilities. And uh, from here also, you can view uh, reporting group detail or reporting group summary. Okay, now you can generate a balance sheet report. Okay, uh, next one, next report is uh, trial balance. Uh, from here, you can select date range and uh, you can select flows imbalances or movement for this period. And uh, you can compare with previous year and uh, this report options report grouping option also available here. Uh, you can group by uh, reporting group and uh, you can generate the report. Okay, uh, this is the trial balance from closing balances. And if you want movement, you can select movement.
we can compare with last year if uh, data available. And uh, if you tick this option, report group in detail, system will display uh, detail of that uh, groups. And if you untick this option, system will display summary for report grouping. Okay, now you can view that or you can generate trial balance report. Okay, uh, next uh, we will move to budget reports. Go to accountants area, reports, management reports, budget report. Uh, from here, you can select budget and uh, you can view the report. You can view monthly budget. And uh, if you select or if you take this uh, show zero items, then uh, system will display uh, zero value GL accounts also. Okay, uh, next report, journal entries report. You can select GL accounts from report filters and uh, you can select active, inactive or both accounts and uh, you can select categories. And uh, from options, you can view date range and uh, you can generate the report. Okay, 
now system will display for this period journal entries you can view uh, debit account credit accounts and uh, total journal entry value okay now you can generate that journal entries report Uh, check whether now you earlier you have entered few journal entries uh, check whether those journal entries available in the report Okay, uh, next we will move to audit reports. First, uh, open imbalances and tax adjustment. You can view that uh, account open imbalances. You can generate uh, asset date and uh, you can view the report. Next, uh, audit trail. From this audit trail, uh, you can view uh, created uh, transactions, then updated, deleted, and price change uh, transactions with day 10 users from here uh, from report filter you can uh, select that event type and uh, from report options you can select date date range and uh, if you want to view that uh, transaction with the uh, user you can pick this uh, display user tick box and uh, you can view the report now uh, from here you can view that account payment created date time and uh, transaction date amount and 
use it. Okay, you can view created transactions. You can view created transactions, uh, updated transactions. You can view uh, deleted transactions like that uh, you can view uh, the transactions uh, with uh, users from report filter you can select event type and uh, from report option, you can select date range and uh, you can include user in that report. If you want to uh, view uh, any deleted transaction, uh, you can select that deleted from event type and you can generate the report. Uh, from that report, you can view uh, which user has changed or deleted the transaction. Okay, uh, from here uh, you can view that uh, event type, date, time, reference, that transaction number, uh, transaction date, uh, uh, exclusive amount, tax amount, and inclusive amount. Okay, and uh, this time, uh, actually, this time it's from a uh, Malaysian registered the company as uh, country as Malaysia. So this time will display as Malaysian time. Okay, now you can generate that uh, audit report or audit trail.
Okay, uh, next we will move to system audit trail. Uh, from this report, uh, you can view uh, if any user has done any changes for system, uh, such as company details, company log change, company logo, or change customer details. Those uh, changes you can view from system audit trail. Now, previous report, uh, audit trail, uh, from this report, we can generate uh, if user has done any changes to transaction or any uh, users has created in transaction those things uh, transaction wise uh, audit trail we can generate from system audit trail we can generate any user has done any changes or created any uh, system modification we can view from system audit trail okay now uh, can select that uh, report filter and uh, you can select date range from report option and if you want to include user you can take this option and uh, you can view the report okay uh, from here you can view now uh, in this report you can view category date time description uh, now for an example uh, first one uh, categories company logo date time available in description company logo has company logo change okay uh, from system audit trail you can view uh, changes related to system uh, changes you can view from system audit trail And uh, you can view that uh, price adjustments, balance changes. You can uh, and uh, quantity changes. You can view from system audit trail. Okay, now you can generate system audit trail report.
Okay. We will move to account and audit trail. Uh, from here, you can view that category, account and access request, uh, account and company access, uh, uninvited from company and account and user access. And uh, from here, report options, you can select date range and you can view report. Uh, from here, actually, uh, if some user, if a user has a request for as a uh, account and user, those uh, requests will display in uh, this report. Okay. okay, now from here, you can create account and user or as a uh, normal user. Uh, and if any user has requested as a uh, do transaction as accountant, uh, those requests will uh, display in this accountant audit trail report. Okay, uh, next report user listing. From here, you can select company, uh, and uh, if you have different companies, uh, you can view from here and uh, you can select from report filters and uh, you can select users and from role wise user role wise also uh, you can view and uh, you can group by users by company or by user okay now you can view report Uh, you can view company name, user, uh, user role, status, and username. And if you go by user, You can view uh, that user that users allowed uh, companies. Okay, uh, and uh, you can view that uh, user listing report. And uh, if you have uh, created additional users, uh, you can view those users in this report.
okay uh, for today now i'll quickly go through today's session uh, you can add notes to here and uh, you can process journal entries Okay, uh, sorry uh, for technical show. Uh, now from uh, accountants <coughs> accounts area, uh, you can process journal entries. And uh, you can schedule your journal entries uh, from recurring journal entries. And uh, you can generate uh, reports, management reports, profit and loss report, uh, balance sheet, trial balance and budget report, transaction report, journal entry report, and audit reports. OK. Uh, uh, we will wrap up for today. Uh, next session, we will complete this accountants area uh next we have pending uh, accountants intelligent reporting designing and uh, we will discuss administration uh, hopefully uh, from next week uh, we can complete the course after that uh, we will send you the assignment okay okay uh, thank you very much good night